Today, I'm gonna to help you pack up a large, flat, heavy item. I'm gonna show you how to do it in the easiest way possible. Let's go ahead and get started, get something packed up. I sold two pieces of artwork. They need to go all the way to Puerto Rico. What I do is I pick up boxes like these from Home Depot, and they cost uh, you know just over 20 bucks each. But look at everything that they come with included in the package. It makes shipping these very, very simple. As soon as we get them packaged up, we'll dive right in and take a look at what it looks like when we're shipping and how that gets charged and how it was paid for and all of those kind of things. And we'll pick the best shipping option. Let's get going. That is the first print that we're going to send. It's not a print, the first painting. Yeah. 29 by 26 by 6. 29, 26, 6. Is that what I said? Yeah. So what I've done is I've packed up uh, the one. I'm going to pack these together and I'm actually going to ship these in one parcel. I'm going to tape these boxes together and I'm going to show you why and I'm going to show you how much it saves me by doing that. Let's go ahead and jump over to the computer and let me take you through the seller hub and I'm going to show you step by step how I ship this thing and how I pay for it. So I'm going to click, this is my seller hub, and I'm going to click where it says print labels and ship and you're going to see that I have two paintings. I'm going to block out the buyer's name but Right here, I'm going to click um, Purchase Shipping Label. And even though I'm going to do these together, that it's going to do one at a time, and then I will add the tracking to the other item. So right here, I know that one of them weighed 9 pounds. We're going to show you one first. Um, because it was right at the 29 inches, I'm going to leave this at 30. This one was 26, and it was uh, less than 6, so even when I tape these together, it'll still be... Um, They'll only be six inches each. I want to show you what one of these will cost me. Now, you're going to look down here, and you're going to notice right off the bat that there's $120 shipping. What I charge for shipping literally just covers the cost of the box. But I had best offer on these, and when this offer came through, I was willing to take $350. But I can't take $350 and ship it to Puerto Rico. What I could do is with a strong offer like $4.75, my shipping is actually still going to be covered. So if I shipped one and then I come down here and I require a signature and I add some liability coverage to this, that is going to run one thirty and forty cents. And keep in mind, I'm still well within the profit range on these. I paid about $15 a piece for these. Uh, for these paintings. Now let's look if I tape these together this is going to go to 12 inches and this will go to 18 and watch what happens to the price. The price goes to 176.97 and that is with priority mail. Let's look and see what other options I have. If this were in the continental United States I would have a lot more options. I would have UPS, I would have uh, some ground options those are going to disappear because I took an offer from Puerto Rico. I'm okay with that because of how much I got for them. But let's still take a look down here. I Obviously, I can't get these in a padded flat rate. <laughs> That's kind of funny, though. Uh, there are other options. I could go Mail Express for $400. And um, keep in mind, we've put the dimensions in here for both, uh, both paintings. But if I come down here to U.S. Parcel Select... It's quite a bit cheaper. I did put economy shipping with adult signature required. 
The, the only downside to shipping these together is that you cannot add more insurance than the one that's on here. When I buy this label, I will have to copy my tracking and add it to the other one. So I'm going to leave this at 475. I'll show you what happens. If I try to put 950 in here, I immediately get a note telling me that I can't do that. So we're going to put 475 and we're about to spend $160 on shipping. So my total cost for shipping these, if you count the 162 that I'm about to spend and another 42 plus 12% eBay fee, so I'm at like 250. But I charged uh you know a total of 44 shipping and I got 475 each for these paintings. And when you set up if you're going to take best offer Make sure that you include shipping in there on these big items because the dimensions are what's caused me. It's not the weight. I want to show you something cool about the weight, though. So I know these are going to be right at 18 pounds. But what if humidity or something and the cardboard soaks something up and they get heavier? Watch, watch this. Because there are break points. They don't charge you per ounce. Watch what happens when I raise this to 20 pounds. Watch this. Watch the price. It didn't do anything. From my experience, I can probably go up to 22 pounds without any additional charges. Now, if I start changing these dimensions, I've already gone up one here to make sure I'm covered. And this one, it won't be more than that. And this one was less than six inches for one. So two won't be more than 12 inches. I don't need to do anything, but this gives me, by changing the weight, that gives me just a little bit of cushion if it doesn't come out. So here comes the tricky part. We are going to buy this label. I've got signature required. I've got my insurance. I've double checked everything. Here we go. This money is going to come out of the proceeds from the sale. This isn't coming out of uh, my bank account or anything like that. It'll come out of the proceeds of the sale. When this screen right here pops up, I want to copy this tracking number because I want to add that to the other one. And I'm going to print my label. That's all there is to that. Now I'm going to go back to my orders and see I still have one here. This little down arrow right here, I'm going to click on that and I'm going to put add tracking number. I'm going to paste that in there. I'm going to put the carrier as the United States Postal Service and save and continue. And now when I go back to my seller hub, it is going to show that I have no tasks pending. Everything has been completed. Um, a couple of quick notes. You're going to see a lot of items that have free shipping. You're gonna see items like mine where I have charged some of that to shipping. It really doesn't matter. eBay is gonna take the total of that and charge you their fees. You still have to pay shipping. You can't just check free shipping and then you don't have to pay for it. As the seller, you're still gonna to have to pay for it. But even on things like this, packing them up is really pretty simple. And uh, yes, I spend a little more on boxes, but it takes me 10 minutes to box something like this up and, and have it be safe, as, as safe as it can be. And uh, shipping is expensive, but on some of these items, you're going to make enough that, that, you know, even with eBay fees and everything coming to 250 bucks, I mean, I'm still going to clear almost $750. And I'm going to do it in a very short period of time. So. I hope that this is useful. I don't know how many big items you have. Shipping on eBay isn't all that complicated and it gets easier with just a little bit of experience. And that's it. I appreciate you watching and I will see you on the next one. Bye.